Okay. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Klaas Heckel. I work at Dassault Systems as a um, simulation engineer. Um, the focus of my work lies on the development of Modelica components and libraries um, and Modelica-based tools. And currently, I am working on a Cape Open interface for Daimola for our um, system simulation software. And I would like to give you a presentation on the current status of my work. Um, together with my colleague, Philip Jordan, I'm working on the set um, interface, Cape Open interface for Daimola. Um, and since there is no native Modelica implementation um, for calculation of multi-phase, multi-component um, fluid uh, uh, calculations, we need to integrate um, external software. And therefore, Cape Open is um, a very good solution for us since um, it brings um, a great flexibility in the choice of, of the tool. Um, but what is Modelica and what is Daimola? And where is the difference? Um, Modelica is a multi-physical uh, modeling language for dynamic simulations. Um, so you can create technical systems of uh, um, different physical domains and connect them uh, um, with each other. It's object oriented, so you can create your components, connect them to systems and connect the systems to even bigger systems. And in that way, you can follow in kind of natural development workflow. Um, Modelica is equation based. Um, that means that you don't write sequential executed code, but you write your equations directly into your model. Mm. You don't even have to solve your equations for the variable you want to calculate because Modelica does that for you. Um, before the simulation, Modelica collects all equations from the system uh, model, creates an um, equation system, solves it, and then the um, solver can integrate it over time. Um, and Modelica is a free standard developed by the uh, Modelica Association. Now, Daimola is a Modelica IDE and simulation tool. So you can create and simulate your uh, models, Modelica models within Daimola. Um, there are many free and commercial libraries for different technical domains um, available for Daimola. Um, it comes with a variety of solvers for different simulation problems. Um, and of course, you can do numer numerical analysis um, and analyze the calculation step sizes or identify um, performance limiting parts of your models um, in order to um, optimize it or to debug it. Um, and um, I think that's a um, good feature uh, um, too. It supports FMI, which stands for Functional Mockup Interface. It's also a free, sta free standard for the exchange, export and import of um, dynamic simulation models. So you can um, export a Modelica model as an FMU, which stands for functional mockup unit. Um, and Daimler works on Windows and on Linux. Um, normally, a, a Modelica model in Daimler is entirely written in um, Modelica, but um, it has a built-in class and a built-in function for the use of external classes and functions written in C, C++, Fortran, or Java. And that is what we use in order to instantiate um, our material object from within um, Daimler. I'm using the, the external um, class and an external uh, uh, functions. So here on the left side is what 
um, I would call um, our front end. Here is Daimola as our um, PME, and within Daimola, we have um, created a properties model written in Modelica um, that is kind of a mirror uh, uh, a class or in, in wrapper for the material object written in uh, C. And um, at the beginning of the simulation, um, the material object is instantiated from within um, Daimola, and then via Cape Open, the material object can uh, communicate with the property package manager if needed, or direct directly with the property package if it's a standalone. And um, during the simulation, we have now an established communication where the inputs for the property and flash calculations go from left to right, and the calculation results go from the right to the left in every time step that's calculated. Um, this property model will be part of our thermodynamics connector library. Um, it's a Modelica library developed in and for Daimola, and it already contains an um, multi-flash interface. Um, so um, um, an interface for the multi-flash um, software by KVC, where we use, um, don't use Cape Open, but the direct um, multi-flash um, C++ API. Um, but the Terminanics Connector Library will be, will be extended by the Cape Open interface. And here you see the Cape Open uh, package. This is an overview of the content um, of the library. So. Um, the Cape Open interface um, consists of um, a few examples and the properties uh, model, since the properties model is the interface that you can easily um, implement into your Modelica model just by um, drag and, and um, drop implementation. You don't need uh, more. You just have to uh, um, connect the inputs to the properties model and connect the desired outputs um, you want to use in your Modelica model and you're ready to go and have um, external calculated fluid data within your um, system simulation. For the implementation um, of the material object, um, we used uh, the Cobia middleware. Um, we already tested if the uh, um, interface works when the properties model is exported from Daimola um, as an FMU and, and we tested it in uh, Python scripts. And um, yes, was successful, still works. So this means that um, the Cape Open interface could be exported as an FMU and imported into another application that, uh, that not yet does support Cape Open. Um, also, we tested um, the interface um, on Windows and on Linux, and both worked well. Um, the extended thermodynamics connector library will be released um, next year, April 24, and um, with the coming uh, Daimler version. Um, my colleague Maren Tietze is working on a Modelica, mo uh, Modelica library um, for simulation of thermal separation processes, the process modeling library. Um, the library is based, or most components are based on the multi flash interface, but um, when the um, Cape Open interface is released. Um, it will um, the multi-flash interface is easy exchangeable against the Cape Open interface um, since both properties models have the same structure, same inputs, same outputs. Um, it's just in Daimler, it's just um, a, a right-click option um, to exchange such models. Um, at this point, I would like to show you two things live in Daimola. I think you can see my Daimola now. Um, here on the left, I don't know if it's um, 
large enough if you can can see it but this is a package browser where the loaded libraries um, are listed here is a thermodynamics connector library and here's a process uh, modeling library and um, at first I would like to show you a very simple example where I use a properties model with um, a, a property package from the T property package manager from Amstercam. Um, so it's as simple as that. There's a properties model. Um, and when I double click, I get the parameter um, window and can parameterize um, the property package I want to use. So um, just with a string, I, I select the T and property package manager, the water and butanol property package that comes with T. Um, I select the phases um, that uh, are to be calculated and say how many components uh, um, are in the mixture. And can can with the drop down I can choose um, the, the flash calculation I choose the PTN flash um, set a constant pressure constant uh, um, mixture composition and have as a temperature um, I use a ramp source that ramps up the temperature from 362 Kelvin by 10 Kelvin and now I change to the simulation layer. And um, beforehand, I created a an, um, an plot script that will um, execute it automatically after simulation in order to um, save some time. So now I simulate the model. And we can see some interesting uh, properties and, and, and uh, calculation results. Here is the temperature. Um, here are the phase fractions um, of the mixture, um, the liquid phase composition and the vapor phase composition. And here on the left is a variable browser <laughs> uh, where we can investigate the components and all the uh, variables and parameters of them. Um, and second example I want to show you. is an example from the process modeling library. Um, this is a simulation of a benzene toluene separation with a column model and um, different tank models that are used for um, condensation and evaporation of the, of the products. And there are um, some other um, uh, components that are um, the most of them are controlled with PID controllers. Um, and um, to the here is the block for the feed mole flow rate. And I implemented a small step that takes place in the middle of the simulation and um, will significantly increase the uh, mole flow rate of the feed. And this is yeah, just a simple uh, model in order to showcase um, how the dynamic uh, process and simulation in Diamola can look like and what you could, could do with it. Um, uh, maybe it's interesting uh, for you to know this, this model has 14 stages. Uh, the column model, um, each stage is an individual uh, uh, um, instantiation of a control volume with its own properties model. I think. Um, yeah, maybe each of these component models here should have at least one properties model, and so it's um, own a uh, material object. Um, since the uh, simulation would take about two minutes, I um, simulated. Um, it did in advance and we'll just load the um, simulation result. And again, I created a um, plot script that I now will execute. 
So here you see um, the mole flow rate of the feed that um, at the beginning is at about 28 uh, moles per second and um, increases to about 38 moles per second. And here's the step. And the impact um, on the head product quality on the benzene fraction in the head um, can be seen in, in the lower um, diagram here. At the start of the simulation, the model has to settle in and then it gets to a steady state and with the um, step of the um, feed flow and we have a small overshoot and the um, model settles in again on a, on a lower um, quality. Yes. That was um, the live demo. And finally, I would um, briefly talk about my experience with Cobia. Um, I think that the documentation is very good. Um, it became Mm, very quickly um, clear to me that everything I need to know I can um, find somewhere in, 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 in the documentation, especially in the thermal specs and in the Cobia reference. Um, but um, at times the trick is to know what um, what you, you have um, to look for, um, especially at the beginning because um, um, and I think that that brings me to the to the second point. Um, at the beginning, it's a lot to to learn, and uh, there were um, many new concepts I had to learn. And um, at times, maybe a um, um, small example code um, would have been very helpful to me that use and explain the basic concepts as for for instance the difference between um, the different um, data types like cape string i cape string and cape string impl um, i remember that i was stuck quite quite a time um, till i found out that there is that there are impl uh, 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 um, data types and I, and I tried to to implement an, an um, string um, in order to to call a uh, property package, that was um, um, quite painful. And directly after I found out that there are impl uh, data types, of course I found um, the right passage in the Cobia reference. But I think um, yeah, I learn over um, examples and example codes. I'm always looking for examples, so that um, might be might have been helpful for me to get um, um, started quicker. And uh, the third point is um, that for the implementation of the material object, I used the Cobia class with that um, by Amsterdam, and it was um, really, really helpful because um, I had a structure for my class where I knew it would um, work and I could focus on the implementation of the DARPA uh, uh, member functions. And I think that accelerated um, the development um, by a lot. Um, yeah, so thank you for that. And thank you for your uh, attention. <laughs>